Now that you've learned the draw stroke, and you've learned to apply it in a variety of different strokes, like the C stroke, the S turn stroke, now's a good time to figure out just how efficient you are with the draw stroke. Now remember, the whole objective is to keep your momentum going around a turn. Well, this little test I've developed is going to allow you to determine where you are in terms of draw stroke skill. The international average for this test, for how many strokes it would take, in this case, to paddle around Dane, is five. Anything over than five strokes, you're going to need to work on it a little bit. Anything less, you're doing good. And if you want to know if you're doing really well, the number of strokes it should take is only one. This test looks like this. Get a friend or a partner. You're going to paddle up alongside their boat. And from the moment you pass their, their paddle, go around their kayak and pass their paddle the other way, just determine how many strokes it takes. One is good. Anything more than one, you need to work on it. Now watch what happens when you don't have a proper draw stroke. If your draw stroke's too, too far forward, for example, you're going to slide out and you're going to have to re-accelerate. It's going to take a lot of strokes. If you have no draw stroke whatsoever, then of course it looks like this. Count the strokes, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Imagine that. Five strokes. So the difference between having a great draw stroke and a very efficient draw stroke and not a very good one is the difference between five strokes and one stroke. And how many turns you do in a river? Whew, lots of turns. Having that additional efficiency is huge. So get your friend, practice your draw strokes, figure out how many strokes it's going to take you.